guess everyone or forgot the part where I said everything's spice. killable by everyone if you put enough bullets in it. But anyway, here's the brief. You guys are part of this uh, Phobos defense cluster. There are quite a few on the area of Phobos, and you are in charge of the one that is shown in the AO. Uh, as of last night, going into the morning, uh, even though it's really dark outside, the base came under attack by an unknown force. And your section has not been touched yet, but there are hostile forces coming up to it. So your job is to basically regain control of two AA sites, which are on the southern side of the base, to shoot down any incoming drop pods or aircraft. Uh, PID of the aircraft is simple. They just don't look like UNSC aircraft. That's all we know at this time. Uh, there are two friendly garrisons that have uh, managed to survive the onslaught. Everything else has either been killed off or has been regrouped somewhere off-site to counterattack later as UNSC command tries to figure out what's going on. They are located here and here. Both of them also have resupply boxes if you need more ammo. Otherwise, there's also resupply boxes that we sp uh, at our spawn, which is here at the top left. Now, you might notice there's a blue marker at the southern position. Uh, that blue marker has a few warthogs. So if you want to use them, feel free to use them. Otherwise, it's just an optional thing. Uh, as we start the scenario, you are going to hear gunfire outside because both of those positions are in active contact. They might get wiped later on. They might not. Hopefully the ammo will still be there otherwise. For all you new people that weren't here in my original brief about 30 minutes ago, please do not pick up enemy guns because they are not calibrated to deal damage on enemy armor. Uh, when I say armor, I mean they're like chest plates and shit, so you're better off sticking to your own gun. Uh, and their weapons are also calibrated to hurt you after a lot of shots, so you'll be a little more tanky this one, but uh, I would highly recommend you try to keep out of the open areas unless you want to figure out why I told everyone earlier not to do that, but hey, feel free to. I don't care. Uh, otherwise, again, primary objective, retake the AA sites. Secondary objective, retake the entire base. Best bet were to be uh, to go to to the app. Uh, best bet would be to go to the op four positions because that's where command is uh, believing they are and mass. So, yeah. But otherwise, you might find random patrols and yada da. Uh, Phobos technically has a very limited atmosphere, so you all have EVA gear. Uh, your helmets are sealed. Blah blah blah. Um, I couldn't find a script to kill you off if you took your helmet. So, whatever. Mm. Have fun. Try not to inhale. I don't know. Any questions from any of the squad leaders? Yeah, uh, is it, are we expecting any like pushes from enemy forces into our original base? Uh, your original base, no. The other two friendly positions, more than likely. Yep. So let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Any other questions? Okay. Um, let's begin. Let's fucking go. Oh, yeah, it might be a little lag in the beginning, but your resupplier in those orange boxes, feel free to do whatever. I'll be on the LR. Check 50. Good check. Oh. Yeah, also, if you want, pull out your secondary and zoom in. It is the best fucking thing ever. RKSL is the dumbest mod for Optre I've ever fucking seen. I absolutely love it. I'm sure he'll figure it out. What? What? Why? I literally tested this this morning and there were no issues. Why are they now naked? Brown, this is high. Brown, this is high message over, and every squad leader, my bad. So apparently something's weird with the server right now. All of the enemies got stripped naked. I'm gonna do a quick test real quick. Hey, firm. 
I don't see an issue with that. Wait, so how are you... What? Copy that. What? So why are they all naked now? Hey, is this guy naked for you? No. No, he looks, no. He looks like he's That's weird. So when I copy them, they're fine. But when I don't copy them, they're... Ah, whatever. Fuck it. You might fight naked people. <laughs> All right. AO's live. Go have fun. I don't, I don't care anymore. That's just... I don't understand. I give up. Yeah, some message? Uh, one of my guys, well, he respawned. He spawned on the dome roof, by the way. Right. I remember that. I needed to drag the... Wait. A from, give me a second. No, because I pulled it out. No, I didn't. Oh, that might. Be... Well, no, even then, that wasn't an issue, but uh, whatever. Yeah, I don't know why we're. Whatever. I am. For the first mission, it was literally, I, um, here, no, so if I respawn them, yeah, so why are they, why did they spawn in naked? For a plan of action? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. It's an... <laughs> uh, fucking the first mission today screws with my... I mean, there's not much to do. Push southeast. Fucking find and kill. First mission screws with my Zeus interface. I have to hard log. This one now just strips everyone naked. I don't know. Charlie, I don't get it. I don't care. Move along the contacts. So what bugs me the most is both of these I tested this morning on the server, and they were okay, fine. We're gonna move along so now it's just a matter of why. You know what I mean? Like, why is it... Hey, from Bravo. Got speed. Why have these now broken now, you know? It's... <laughs> Screw me, right? Echoes on the northeastern side. Okay, so it doesn't like to deal with area placement. That's going to be annoying. Oh, well. With that minor hiccup out of the way. Let's get this started. Good check. Good check. Here, hi. Can I get a TP of Luxie to Canader? Reference. Say again, over. Here, Luxie Canader. TP, please. Stand by. My head is in way too many spots right now. All right, let's do one thing at a time. Yeah, so they're firing through that opening. Now that they're all in here, they're not firing through anymore. So it was literally crossfire. Canadar, can you pain? I cannot find you in the mass here. Don't worry about it. He got caught up with us. 
Roger, out. So here, let me explain why this is happening. So we're running lambs with, actually, no, it is just purely lambs. So lambs is firing. It uh, What lambs does is it's trained to fire in the area where it perceives forces to be. So lambs is having units fire into where it's seen forces here, but it kept firing here because it was detecting people running up on this area. So then it just started firing in this area, but it was detecting it through this uh, that texture. And their lasers, as well as the UNSC's uh, bullets, can actually penetrate into some of these complexes because these are actually just simple tent textures. And that's also knocking over these windows here. So... It's not... How do I put it? It's not them, they're uh, seeing through the texture and firing, it's just what Lambs is making the units do. So... If they want to get around that, then they have to just ride this right side at this point. This is high, send mass message. Is around down our ears? That's because of explosions knocking things out. Over. They're map assets. I can't set them to invincible. Roger, just wanted to know. Hell Knight, thanks for the 16 month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. I hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. They have smoke grenades. I haven't seen a single smoke get popped. They're just kind of going in blindly and uh, relying on a tidal wave. And another thing that's going on is when these get knocked over and destroyed, the AI no longer see them. So they just immediately start opening fire on them. So yeah, just the combination of lambs and just the map. The plasma guns are knocking shit out part of the map, so there's not much I can really do about that. Uh, do not come down this hallway. There's only an auto cannon for those of you who are behind. I will take responsibility though. The destroyed textures are an oversight on my end. I didn't think about something like that happening. Probably talk to Night of Wizard and say if uh, talk about these to say if there's any better textures that can be utilized.
reloaded. I'm not hearing any squad on squad communication here. That auto can actually no, it's a heavy bolter is a little more brutal than I thought it would be about the same time. I this just means I greatly underestimated uh VCOM. Or excuse me, lambs. VCOM wouldn't be causing stuff like that. Oh well. No, I avoided snipers because of how accurate they were at longer ranges. I wanted this to be general suppression. But I guess I miscalculated with lambs, unfortunately. I gave him smoke grenades, right? I'm not fucking hallucinating. Yeah, I did. Everyone has two. And there's more in the resupplies. So what, if we have 30 players roughly, I think there's a little more than 30. So that's 60 smokes. And I've only seen like one or two utilized. Yeah, that thing can't turn to the immediate left. There we go. these rockets or I just see a what? thing I haven't seen any rockets fired at that position I haven't seen a lot of smoke use I haven't seen a lot of tactical repositioning you know getting some distance from that gun I'm just seeing the Ein I'm just seeing Einstein's definition of insanity at this point. Where's the smokes? You're under fire and everyone's just still running, you know? There's a rocket. Thank you. Do it again. Oh, 
Perfect! Oh my god. Make sure this spawns properly. All right. Oh, well. First off was really good. This one, we're just going to see a lot of brute force action, which is fine. Yes. All right. Now they're at least starting to adapt and learn, which is good. That's what we need to keep seeing. Some forces over here take care of this position, which is great. Put in some QRF here. Sometimes it takes the player base a second to get their rhythm going, but at least they can just, you know, reinsert and come back in. I don't know how a tiny SCP op would be done. You can't shrink player models down. traffic on 50. Yeah, I was about to say, that better not be stuck because I drove all these out myself. And testing. They're trying to put rockets up here on this guy. They eventually got him with bullets, though. All right. All right so you got these guys behind the crater starting to move up. Pretty messy medical situations going on. There's resupply right here, though. We have uh, some of the warthogs setting up right here. Now, let me check something real quick. Yeah, no, 35 players. Bravo squad lead, other squads sit rep on uh, status. That goes to the far east over by a excavator. And then fire. Oh, caught reloading. <laughs> Bravo hold up in the Warthog building at the moment. We're gonna regroup here and then push on probably to the east. Oh, 
Yeah, so it's actually just Big Me's desyncing around. I'm not seeing anyone else uh, under that, so that's a little weird. It's fine. Then you got these guys still set up right here. They're just doing medical. So again, I will state for the record, once these get knocked over, the AI can see through them, the players cannot. That is the major issue of this operation, but everything else, like that original firefight with the AI actually firing into here, that was because of both a lambs feature and the fact that they were engaging the infantry in the open back here, not specifically the AI in there, or it could have been because of the lamb suppression system. Right, it's difficult to say. Yeah, that is also a little bit of an issue. The AI are disregarding some of these certain textures. Some of these guys are actually braving through the open fields. Ay, ay, ay. This is hi, send message. One of my boys was stuck inside one of these turrets, and I we can't pull him out. Um, he's completely did that. Judge. Negative low low. Any from standby. Disregard. He died on it, unfortunately. So those, those turrets don't have reference points then for A's. Mm. That's something I can't fix. Two of them. Okay, yeah, set up a firing line. Oh, dear. squad to squad coordination other than just small like a one check-in that happened in the middle of the op be advised charlie is going to use the transport hog to reacquire some lost lambs 
fucking leave it Good at the one marker. Good headshot. So where's their medic? He's all the way. Hold up. So who's a part of this squad? The medic's here. They're all like four of them are down there. Where's Big Me's a part of? He's part of this group, which is over has groups here and here. Snipe's doing a good job keeping most of his force together. And then the other squad, which I think is I'm looking for the marker. Empire is also doing a good job keeping together most of his guys. So some of the squads have just completely, like, this is Echo. We have fallen apart in coordination here. Little bases on the east side of the, of the area. I'm going to go execute Big Maze. Hey, Herb, could you mark your position? Well... I can't even double tap. I'm gonna run this guy out in the open. And kill Big Me's off. So yeah, just coordination is breaking down for the most part. Hmm. Oh wow. See, because when, when ops go like this, I try to think back and wonder, like, okay, what could I have done differently? How could I have made things better? Blah, blah, blah. But really, it's just map and mod set limitations here that are causing issues. The naked guys, not much I can do about. The fact we have lambs, not much I can do about. I could have cut that from the mod set, but I foresee that as being an issue. Uh, stuff exploding here. I could have made sure the enemies didn't have plasma weaponry or any statics. And we could have just done it like this, but if they were going to go in completely unorganized like this, they would have just steamrolled everything, you know? So it... And then people would just say it was an easy op. So I don't... There's not much I could do here. Furthermore, I wouldn't be able to do Space Marines because they would just knock shit over too. So... I guess my final thought is the map balance, like just the choice of assets with everything is just a bad blend. But at the same time, it doesn't help that the players aren't really coordinated that well, you know? Which there was some more squad to squad coordination here. Well, Hitman, how do you interact with in-map assets without writing like a very complex array? Whoever has the transport hog, can you come back to uh, spawn? There's like three people here. Yeah. You know? Oh. Oh my fucking god. I mean, that right there just exemplifies the operation. Like, <laughs> no one's paying attention. Ah, oh, for the love of god. I don't know, it's a shame. I wish there was some more coordination, but it's because this is just a tight corridor of... It's just one of those days. That's the best way to put it. just a matter of what can you do. I'm gonna start getting the the bad stuff out. I will once I fucking bandage myself. Okay. Removing tourniquet. Oh removing your help. Careful up there. Does anybody want to get this from tourniquet? Oh I'm deploying the smurfs. I'm not compromising the op integrity. I find that pretty hilarious, though. 
What do you mean the vehicle is full? What? Transport hog driver, be advised that I will be in the face. Alright, fuck it. I'll just have him run out in the open like so. This is Bravo, be advised we had a drop pod land or southeast uh, from the two red flags area. I also just realized I don't have the GD Valkyries here. Alpha, this is Echo. Are you guys still at your Alpha mark? Smoke for us, doggy dog, bro. Roger. Here, this is Charlie. We were just grabbing some people with the gout with the transit hog ourselves. Someone else can run their own reinserts. Well, Alpha doesn't have a vehicle. Yeah, so everyone, they're. They just said you can. <laughs> I would appreciate God. It. someone at least for the transport hog could be. I guess I needed a GC to organize to everything. In hindsight, I thought we could just have squads work together, but I'm just gonna put that fucking idea to bed again. Because once in a while, people in TSB tell me, "No, the squads can just work together." Yeah, fuck no, apparently. Oh well. All right, let's see how bad these things are still going to behave here. Rockets are doing a good job blowing shit away. I'll put pods down and use smoke grenades to help the uh, billow out effect. Here, hell, I mean, we can just delete that, right? Nope, doesn't let me delete it. All right, well, that's annoying. That's gone down. Hey, this is Bravo to the squad. We're gonna man the uh, turrets and ADs to down any air that comes in. Just so much to do it. I think I'm just gonna have a massive attack stage from the south and go from there. I had a few other ideas for this, but instead we're just gonna we're just gonna use these as uh, base of fire areas and try to redeem some of the operation here. But yeah, we're running the full sci-fi mod set minus Starship Troopers because it makes the mod set's boot time way too fucking long, plus TIOW2 and all dependencies. throwing a chimera. No hydras, because that would be way too freaking much. All right, and then back here, let's have two groups of space marines come in. Sending more assets, uh, air assets in a moment. Going to review everything that's here and delete bodies. And we got these two guys here.
Not the warthog dra uh, warthog driving it, which is actually pretty cool. She just got blown away from forces on the right. Pair going. See, in the moments like these, I mean, this shows that the concept itself is genuine and works quite well. It just needs some refinement. And that's something I'll tackle for the next operation. Some units are just way too spread apart right now. So actually, fun fact, if you mag dump three 60 round magazines into a Space Marine's chest, he'll die. If you mag dump one in the face, he'll die. Oh, that did not help them out. I think this is arguably my favorite thing going on right now, though. Oh, dear. there. I think that was just the, uh, that bit getting shot down. Sorry, I'm still using the AA launchers directly. guys up because that would be the best thing against those dudes but yeah no they got two down right here yeah no this bunker has taken a lot Great hit there. Still have that one Vic. 
But yeah, no, today has been night and day with the two hops in all honesty. Ah, uh, it's a really good example of just how things can literally flip-flop when you put players across two separate situations, when you put who in charge of what, it's... it's an interesting one. Ay, ay, ay. So we got these two guys riding around. They're from two separate squads, mind you. Oh yeah, most of them are the same people that played in the previous operation. But Iceberg and uh, Big Boss aren't here. They're uh, doing something different. Yeah, with Hyopus doing something else. This is Freeman 50. We uh, have died situation at the uh, southwestern side. Well, Arthur would like to help, but we keep getting one shot. So yeah, this is a... Oh, we lost both people in the radio. Thank you. Understood that the mags are in like these little packets here. You know, that's like the Halo 2 way of doing it. It's always perplexed me. This is Charlie, the other forces. How far have we pushed? Just the AA? I know there's another squad over here with me. Hey, firm. Charlie's going to regroup and keep pushing them. All right, so final thought. Should have given him a uh, ground commander to coordinate everything. And I'm never doing a squad with squad thing again. I'm having coordination. Because this is... This is why. Uh, and I would have had different statics that were ace interactable. Everything else, I would have kept. Hey, firm. This is Charlie. I'm going to regroup and keep pushing east. Yeah. Roger, Charlie. We'll hold the AA tonight. Probably currently wait, waiting until squad lead out. Can X probably because there'd be too many polygons on those textures, right and it would just not be workable. I guess I would have also ripped out lambs. Because players don't like it when their it's areas are suppressed. What's going on? Who needs what? Nothing's going on. But I can't fix no. the lack of players using smokes and then players using AA into their own structures. But I think it's also because we haven't done a lot of optray stuff recently, so people see a giant missile launcher and assume that it can be used against... Uh, clumps of infantry too so I'm not mad about that one too much we just witnessed a chunk of it so she's just 18 dudes <laughs> All squads is high, be advised. All infantry squads that were in areas that were not cleared yet are currently regrouping and pulling out of the AO. Break. Base is back under UNSC control. Over. Bravo copies. Hi. Uh, <laughs> 
I All kill right. zero people. Index. Two Valkyries, All right. let's go. Quick break. Normally I'd yell about shooting the AI at Index, but I understand that some people did not enjoy that operation. So I'm going to go through things uh, that I noticed and right. take responsibility for a few of them. So first and foremost, um, stuff blowing up and uh, whatchamacallit. Actually, no, well, that's John Lewis. First thing, uh, the AI were not engaging units uh, that were in static, uh, in like part of the tunnels or whatnot. They were shooting at people above that went on top of a um, airport. Uh, what is it? Uh, a helipad, and the crossfire was hitting people in the tunnel. Uh, and then we have lamb suppression, where once you break line of sight, they're still going to shoot in that direction. So it took them like another minute of shooting before it finally stopped. That wasn't them shooting through the textures to hit you specifically. That was just suppression back and forth. Uh, the only way I can fix that is if I ripped lambs out, which in hindsight, I guess I should have, but I didn't think it would be that much of an issue. Um, then we had a lot of people running through open areas that were being suppressed by, uh, suppressed by a big gun. Uh, it took a while for someone to finally look at that area with AT and uh, eventually destroy it. I was waiting for that to happen, but if you're getting suppressed through open areas, guys, all of you spawned with two white smoke grenades. Um, to the few people that did it and used it and it worked for them, great. Do it again. To a lot of you that didn't, that ended up just running by and getting blown up, that's why you have them. Uh, one thing I will take fault for, um, the tent textures were a lot less... How would I put it? Um, they took a lot less damage to get destroyed than I actually thought they would. Uh, I will take credit for that. That's just part of the map. I can't do anything to fix that. Um... AI being naked, don't know why that happened. Uh, I When I booted everything at noon, four hours, actually no, almost six hours ago, uh, before I ran the other mission to uh, test that one, they were all fine. And then we booted this one and they were naked. I don't know. Uh, when I copy, like deep copy and pasted them, they were fine again. I, I don't know. Just Arma being Arma. Um... Just as a reminder, guys, don't fire AA at ground targets, especially if you have to lower the gun, because there were one or two instances where the AA gunners shot at ground targets and then a missile dunked like two or three guys uh, that were in the bunker because the missile fell too low and hit friendlies. Um, also, the the squad coordination today, like there were some squads that did really a uh, really good job keeping all their people together. And then there were some squads where, like, a fire team went literally one direction of the map, and another fire team with the squad leader went in a completely separate direction. Uh, comms were subpar at best. There were a few check-ins, but I was hoping for a little bit more coordination, but that should have been on me. I should have put a ground commander to tie everything together. Otherwise, everything else seemed to go well. I think I'm forgetting one thing. Oh, yeah, um... Yeah, then the AI will see stuff that's knocked over, like the uh, tunnel stuff. That that was the biggest issue, I think. Um, so in the future, I'll just make sure that I don't pick a map that has that issue, unfortunately. And uh, I think in hindsight, also putting like a blue force tracker or something on C-Tab or uh, Dirty Snape sent me a really cool script I can use in place of a blue force tracker that's a lot more accurate and gives you more info so you can quickly regroup with your SL. So I'll take fault for that. Otherwise, let's go squad by squad. Uh, Alpha um, had FIFA issues at the beginning. I pretty much got kicked from TS and I couldn't get back on it for some reason. That's weird. Um, happened to other people in my squad as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, from there on out, it just, I don't know. Trying to get closer to them, they just dunked us at, at every corner. And with guns that do a couple wounds at a time, we had way too like, little bandages. It just, I don't know. Didn't feel good, my my squad. It, 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 just, it just wasn't fun to us, I'm sorry. Um, you mentioned a couple of the issues, but yeah, um, Bravo, go ahead. Um, Bravo squad lead. It was a, it was an okay time. There were a few problems, like everyone's kind of thought, I guess. 
Ground command would have been nice, or at least a couple minutes to, to organize before pushing out. Um, uh, there was one instance of an auto can. I, I know it's just kind of just been addressed. I'm just reading through my own notes. Um, yeah, there's a point where an auto cannon was looking down a, a corridor that we had to open a door, and it took uh, out the so, tunnel. I immediately yeah. read the auto cannon. Yeah, so we didn't know that, but yeah. we were trying to we were trying to shoot it through the collapsed tunnel. Um, the gun turrets were really finicky. We were getting a Spanish message when we tried to unload patients. Uh, pulling them out when they were on con and the only other way to get them out seemed to be like a really finicky uh you had to be standing and then like at the back of the turret to hope to get a chance to get in it and pull the body out um and then i was on uncon for the last third essentially once the valkyries and drop pods started coming down so uh boom if you have anything to say from that bit well, i mean i was down for pretty much the same amount of time i was only brought up at the very end and it was basically index at that point. Roger. So I'll actually yeah. ask Grim, because he actually was alive for that portion of time. I thought Sniper was something was like, oh, they're both trying to uh, communicate them, just going 50 since no one was talking. <laughs> I have nothing to, to add. Right. All I right. will say that I, I know I personally lost Tifa for a good half of that. And lost Team Freak entirely at points. So that was interesting. Yeah. Um, so what what caused that? Like you just I have no idea. Did it, it just, kick you out of Teamspeak or it just kicked, it just kicked me off the Teamspeak? Then it wouldn't didn't let us back clear. in. And yeah, when it did, forever. it would. I wouldn't let me move down, and no one else was in it apart from two other people, who would, uh, could only hear me half the time. Yeah, so that's weird. And that was repeated. So I don't right. know if that was a Teamspeak thing, or the game thing. Probably a team speak thing. It didn't happen to me, but I did notice it happening to a bunch of people. I know you weren't speaking for like an hour and it kicked you out. Mm -hmm. What were the kits of the guys that it didn't happen to compared to who it did happen to? Is there any correlation with that? You know, the team lead. Not lead. I have team lead. Team lead. Yeah, so. Okay, were there any team leads where it didn't happen to you? Yeah, team lead here didn't happen to me. It's only one out of the like seven. Uh, it didn't happen to me. Okay, two. Uh, squad leaders, did... How many had it? So Karn, Alpha, it happened yeah, to Alpha. Yeah. Did it happen to any other squad? It didn't happen to uh, Bravo. Did not happen to It happened to Charlie. Okay. I think um, one, of my, one of my boys lost Mike, but I forget who it, it was. Tiger. I think it was Tiger. Yeah, yeah I don't Tiger. know what slot they were in. No, Tiger just fucked around with his settings and now... Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I'm checking people's versions. I'm checking the mod plugin. I'm not seeing any that correlation. Before, I, I know. I, it's... I initially thought of the DDoS. So. Yeah, oh. It was probably just some weird shit going on. Yeah, Bjorn's upstairs. I'll shoot him a message, but that is weird. Are we Tobin now? No. 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 Uh, huh. That was it. That was it for Bravo. That I didn't was... have anything else. Charlie. Uh, well, as mentioned, a couple of my guys lost Mike. Uh, people seem to have trouble with sticking with me, but that could have just been me going, oh shit, there's an auto cannon. Hey, don't push across that thing I just told you to push across. But aside from that, we kind of bumble fucked around. Uh, at least for us, contact felt a bit light, but that may have just been where we were heading. Uh, nothing much aside from stick with your leader, Re. But, he yeah. runs the team speak, uh, so I'm asking him if there's anything the shooting through the buildings weird and that the was crossfire. going on. Uh, although I can see how it was an issue. It gets exaggerated when people keep running across the same spot, which is hilarious. And yeah. Fucking echo, I guess. Yeah, Matrix, let's do exclamation point Discord. That's all? It was Echo. Delta didn't get that slowed down. Okay. Um, I believe there was a Delta. Or, no, we were Echo. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, we st stuck together. We did we coordinate pretty well for mostly up. Towards the end, right. though. I'm going to wrap the stream up here. Thank you for watching, guys. Go operate operationally. Yeah, enemy gunfire. To the rest of your day and or night. We'll be back uh, the person that was with me while we were next Saturday because I'm taking the week off. And, uh, Yay, vacation. 
and mess oh, with wow. that for a little bit.